we intend to calculate the long-term load capacity of a single pile using the Abacus software. Actually, we are going to simulate the example 8.4 from Sam Helvani book in this software. Here, I'll draw a rectangle. The height of pile is 16 meters and its diameter is equal to 0.6 meters. Well, I'll enter the height of pile as 16 meters and its radius as 0.3 meters and then click on Done. As explained in Sam Helvani book, the cap hardening curve is assumed to be a straight line passing through these two points. The coordinates of the first point is uh, 0.57 multiplied by 10 to the power of 3 Pascal and 0. And of the second one is 103 kilopascal and 0 0.0032. This question will be modeled based on drained condition. The drained condition will indicate low loading rate. In this example, the loading rate will be equal to uh, 3 multiplied by uh, 10 to the power of negative 13 centimeter per second. And the rate of displacement is 30 cm. We can calculate time period based on the formula that you observe here. The time period here is equal to uh, 1 multiplied by 10 to the power of 14 seconds. Here, since the drained condition is still applied and the pore water pressure during the analysis is almost equal to zero, so I'll enter maximum uh, pore pressure change per increment as 0.01. From here, mechanical and tangential behavior. Here, the coefficient of friction uh, between the pile and soil is equal to 0 0.385. From here, I select penalty and enter the coefficient of friction equal to 0 0.385. And the height of soil is equal to 22.7. Here, in the bottom of the soil, the height is equal to 0. And in the bottom of the soil, the stress is equal to uh, negative 158,900 Pascal. The quantity of 158,900 is gained based on this formula that is actually specific weight of saturation minus the specific weight of water multiplied by the height uh, which is calculated in this way. Here we should enter the lateral coefficient and as it had been explained in the book, the horizontal effective stresses are assumed to be 50% of the vertical effective stresses. Here we'll enter the lateral coefficient as 0 0.5 and OK. The question is aimed at gaining the load capacity of a single pile or in other words resulting such as a diagram. Continue. From here I'll select unique nodal. From here select RF2 and here click on edit selection and select these nodes, then save and OK. 
In the next step, I click on Create XY Data again. Click on Operate on XY Data and continue. Here, I will select Combine, then select this diagram and then this one and click on Plot. In the next step, I'll put one negative sign here and click on Plot again. Then save as that and OK. Well, you can observe the diagram we resulted in the Abacus software. The diagram drawn in Sam Helvani book is just as uh, what you can observe in this picture. As you see, the results gained from Abacus software are quite the same as those in Sam Helvani book. I'll right click on the diagram, click on edit, then uh, select these two columns, right click, copy and paste that in the Excel software. Here I'll select these two columns and uh, select this diagram from the insert menu. The diagram having been drawn in blue is the one produced by Abacus software. As you observe, the results gained from the Abacus software are quite the same as those gained from Sam Helvani book. Well, in the next step, I intend to get the load capacity. To do so, I'll first uh, take a photograph of this uh, diagram. Uh, in this manner. Here I'll draw uh, two lines uh, which are tangential on the diagram. Uh, in this manner. Then I'll draw a vertical line from the place where the two lines are intersected in this manner. The load capacity gained from Sam Helvani is about 530 kilo newton and the load capacity gained from Abacus software is nearly 510 kilo newton.